Okay, in this video, we're going to find or derive the equation of a circle using the Pythagorean theorem. Okay? Now, let's start with a brief review of the Pythagorean theorem. Remember that the Pythagorean theorem basically says that in any right triangle, okay, let's just draw a quick right triangle here, okay, that we can find the length of any side of a, of a right triangle by squaring the two short sides and having it equal the square of the hypotenuse, which is normally known as C. So you remember that the Pythagorean theorem basically says that A squared plus B squared is equal to the C squared. And again, C, remember, is always the hypotenuse, just to make it easy for us, okay? Now, how does that relate to the equation for a circle? And let's, let's go ahead and go through this reasoning, and I'll show you how it works. Now, what do we know about circles? We know a few things. <clears throat> we know, for example, that the distance from the center to, let's just say, any edge of the circle, it's always the same thing. That's called the radius, isn't it? And we normally call that just R. Now, the center point, we're, notice that it's on an xy axis, right? The center point is defined by an x value and a y value. Okay, so for this particular circle, we're going to call it h for the x value and k for the y value. And I'll show you why here in just a second. And we know that here's the radius, for example, going from the center point to some point along the edge of the circle. And now we're just going to call this point on the edge of the circle any arbitrary x and y, okay? Because we know that there's an x value here and then there's a y value here. Okay, now this is where the Pythagorean theorem starts to come into play. We know that if we took this as the hypotenuse of our right triangle, right? Let's just drop a line straight down, and let's draw a line straight over, and create our own right triangle, okay? Now, since this is our right triangle, our R has become our C, right? Because that's the hypotenuse. So let's just go ahead and call that the C. We could make either one of these two sides the A, and the B, right? So we'll just call this side A, and let's just call this side B. Now, in our Pythagorean theorem, remember A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared, except that we just replaced the C with the R. Okay, so let's just go ahead and call C R squared. Now we have to find a value for the A, and we have to find a value for the B. So let's just go over here and examine what this is. Now, we can find the distance here by using the distance formula, right? Now, if this x is called h, and let's call this x straight down here, right? This would also be x, right? And it would be a different kind of a y. The distance between here and here is just x minus h, right? So this x value minus this x value. So we're going to say that a will be equal to just x minus the h. Okay? So for example, if this were, let's say this x were 7, all right, what it looks like it's about 7, and let's say that this h were 4, the distance here would just be 7 minus 4, okay, or just 3 units. So just basically x minus h. Now, if we're going to square that, then we're going to square x minus h, okay? So now we've got a value for the a squared. We're going to call it x minus h quantity squared. Now, we're going to do the exact same thing with the b, okay, or the y value. We know that b, this distance here, is going to be equal to this y, right, minus 
this y because it's just the same thing all the way over to here, right? So we're just going to say y minus k, all right? So b will just be equal to the distance between this y and this k down here. So y minus k. And we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to square this b, which means that we want to square y minus k. And now we're going to replace the b squared in the Pythagorean theorem with y minus k, quantity squared. Now this equation right here, let me just make it a little bit bigger, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. This is the equation for a circle. Okay? And let's see if we can identify the parts. Again, the h and the k are just the center point of any circle. Okay? The r is just the radius, and then again, that's squared. All right? So from this equation, you'll be able to draw any circle if you're given this point or one of these points here. Okay? So I hope that was helpful to you.